Dear members and friends, over the last week I have read about the tragic events in Haiti and in Afghanistan. In 2016, when I was serving as the senior pastor at a United Methodist Church in Westchester, I had the opportunity to travel to Haiti with a small group. After landing in Port-au-Prince, we ventured up into the mountains in a village called Fursi. For many years, the New York Conference of the United Methodist Church has been going to Haiti under the name Mountains of Hope for Haiti. Our group brought over 100 water filtration buckets up into the village to provide clean water for the residents. As I look back at my time in Haiti and now look at the new devastation there, I recognize that Mountains of Hope for Haiti has been more than a mission. As it has been and continues to be a heartfelt and heart-warmed relationship with a community, with a people, with dear friends, and through the years we have all been blessed. Over the years I have stayed connected with people I have met in Haiti. I have been blessed through WhatsApp and social media to watch the children grow and watch the community of Fursi change. We have celebrated weddings and baptisms and shared in the loss of friends and in the struggles of the community. It has been a great privilege in my ministry to have been alongside people during hurricanes, droughts, and the earthquake with the Mountains for Hope Haiti group. But now there is another devastating setback for the people of Haiti. It is devastating to learn of the nearly 1,300 dead in the latest massive earthquake that happened last week. I know that you will join me in prayer and action not only for the people of Haiti, but those suffering all around the world in Afghanistan, Ethiopia, and other countries. May our prayers for Afghanistan and others be met with a willingness to welcome, protect, and fight for refugees from Afghanistan. May we work to fight against oppressive colonial policies which make countries like Afghanistan the stage upon which American exceptionalism gets played out. Let us do this work to protect others, to fight for others. On weekday mornings as part of our morning prayer liturgy, the morning prayer group that meets every day on Zoom often prays the phrase, may they know the deep peace of Christ. Friends, we need the deep peace of Christ and we need each other. To this end, I offer the words from the song, I need you to survive from Hezekiah Walker as a prayer for us and all people. The words say, I need you, you need me. We're all a part of God's body. Stand with me, agree with me. We are all a part of God's body. It is God's will that every need be supplied. You are important to me. I need you to survive. I pray for you, you pray for me. I love you, I need you to survive. I pray for you, you pray for me. These are powerful words. We are all God's family. We need each other. Let us keep close to Christ and to one another in prayer and action. Friends, you are invited always to join the morning prayer group that meets on Zoom Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. by going to trcnyc.org slash morning prayer. Let us be in prayer for our world and all those that are suffering. And let us put our prayers into action. Grace and peace.